Hello, everyone. Bienvenidos. Welcome. Very soon, we are going to have open English mode class. Muy pronto vamos a tener clase con open English mode. ¿Cómo estás hoy? En unos minutos vamos a tener clase con Open English Mode. Vamos a practicar gramática. ¿Cómo estás hoy? Let me see the comments here. Oh, okay, I see. Hello, Roger. Welcome, bienvenidos. Mi nombre es Megan. My name is Megan. I will be teaching today's class about grammar. Today we will have open English mode. Okay, I see more students are watching. Hello, how are you today? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo están todos? Are you having a good day? You can send your comments. Envía tus comentarios. I will check for Instagram. Hello, Roger. Welcome. How are you today, Roger? Okay, I see some more students here. Welcome, everyone. Bienvenidos. Vamos a tener clase con Open English Mode. Very soon, we will have class with open English mode. Today, we will practice grammar. We will talk about verbs. Hello, Jenny from Nicaragua. Welcome, bienvenido. Jenny, I visited Nicaragua in the past. It is beautiful. You have a beautiful country. Hello, Odi. Welcome. Hello, Giselle. Estoy preparando la tecnología para la clase. Muy pronto vamos a tener clase con Open English Mode uh, en Facebook y en Instagram. Hello, Jesuit. Hello, Lores. Where are you from? ¿De dónde eres? I see people from many different countries. I am from the United States. Hello, Gina from Ecuador. Excellent. Welcome. Okay, let's see. Oh, more comments here. Wonderful. Great. Hello, Aldair. Welcome. Hello, Lilia. Today we are studying grammar. Today we will study verbs. Okay, another student from Ecuador. Lore, welcome. Huguito is from Peru. I see someone from Cartagena, Colombia. Excellent. Yeah, Jenny, yes, Nicaragua is beautiful. Good. Miranda from El Salvador, welcome. Okay, let me prepare today's topic. So welcome to everyone. Bienvenidos a Open English Mode. And let me just prepare on Instagram here and we can start today's class. I'm so happy to see so many students today. Welcome to everyone. Welcome on Instagram. Hello. Bienvenidos. Okay, so today we can start our topic. We are studying grammar today. So welcome to Open English Mode. Bienvenidos. Diez minutos de inglés gratis con Open English. Mi nombre es Megan de Chicago, Estados Unidos. Soy profesora de inglés con cinco años de experiencia enseñando en Open English. Hoy vamos a hablar sobre verbos irregulares en el pasado simple. So welcome everyone. Okay, first, we want to practice some past simple irregular verbs. So I will ask you to match the word or phrase to the pictures. Match as emparejar. Y envía tus comentarios. Por ejemplo, um, picture number one es A, B, C. Okay, so send comments to share your answers. I will read the sentences. Sentence A. Yesterday, 
she was with family. Okay, sentence B. Yesterday, they went on a trip. Sentence C. Yesterday, they had a party. Sentence D. Yesterday, he ate pizza. Sentence E. Yesterday, she drank juice. Sentence F. Yesterday, he read a book. Can you match these sentences to the pictures? The sentences have irregular verbs. Try to identify the correct pictures. Okay, let me check your comments here. Oh, great, I see many ideas. Frank has ideas for every picture. Great participation, Frank. Drexel has some ideas. I see many more students. Welcome, bienvenidos a todos. Estamos estudiando verbos irregulares en el pasado simple con open English mode. We are studying irregular verbs in the past simple with open English mode. So let's check our answers. Verificar, vamos a verificar las respuestas. Okay, so here we can see that picture number one is E, she drank juice. Picture number two is C, they had a party. Picture number three is A, she was with family. Picture number four is D, he ate pizza. Picture number five is B, they went on a trip. And picture number six is F, he read a book. He read a book. So how did you do? Were you able to correctly identify the pictures and phrases? Good, I see some many, many correct responses here on Facebook. I see some on Instagram. Frank says six out of six. Congratulations, Frank. Felicitaciones, muy bien. Hola a todos, bienvenidos. Estamos estudiando gramática y verbos irregulares en el pasado simple con open English mode. Okay, so let's study some information about grammar. Okay, the past simple describes actions completed in the past, completed, terminado. With regular verbs in the past simple, in English, we add the letters ed to the end of the verb. But some verbs are irregular. One example in Spanish, ir. Ir is irregular in El Pasado, right? Fue, fuiste. So English also has some irregular verbs. So let's study the chart. The verb to go in English becomes went in the past simple. Okay, to have is also irregular. The past simple form for to have is had. To eat, the past simple form is ate. So in Spanish, this is similar to saying, um, for example, fue, tuvo, comió. To drink in the past in English is drank. To read, leer, to read in the past simple in English, this is read. La pronunciación es un poco diferente, read. And to be in the past simple in English is was for I, he, she, and it, or were for you, they, and we. So let's practice. Vamos a practicar. Complete the sentence with the past simple in English. Send your comments and your tus comentarios. Last weekend, they, how can we change to go into the past simple tense in English. What do you think? This is irregular. Good, I see. Petra, excellent. Went. Angel Galvez has a question on Facebook. ¿Qué es irregular? Very good question. Irregular es algo que no conforma a las reglas normales. Por ejemplo, normalmente en inglés, um, uh, hay las letras E, D al final de palabras en el pasado. Pero con los ejemplos en la clase de hoy, 
Estas palabras son irregulares. No usan e de. Very good question. Okay, so yes, Petra, uh, Anna, many students have the correct answer here. Yes. So in the past simple in English, we can say last weekend, they went to the zoo. They went to the zoo. Very good. Excellent. Okay, vamos a continuar. We will continue for more practice. Okay, now what do you think? Create some sentences. What happened last weekend? ¿Qué pasó? Use the past simple tense in English to describe what happened. Hay dos imágenes. There are two images. There are many possible sentences. Hay muchas respuestas posibles. Okay, so you can talk about sentence number one, uh, picture number two. What do you think? You can use irregular verbs in the past. Send your comments and your comentarios. What happened last weekend? Y bienvenidos a todos, estudiantes nuevos. Estamos estudiando gramática con Open English Mode. Send your comments. What happened last weekend? Okay, Yubi says picture number two, drink. What did they drink? Good, Karina has a great sentence for picture number one. They went to eat pizza. I love that, very good. Let me type this here. So picture number one, we can say they went to eat pizza. There are other possible responses for picture number one. Hay más ideas? Okay, very good, coffee. Miguel, I like this, okay, good. Jose, they eat pizza, very good. Jose Andia, how can we change eat into the past tense? Okay, let's practice this here. So, I know that they had pizza. I can say they ate, ate, comió, they ate pizza, very good. Excellent. Okay, let's look here for some ideas for picture number two. What did she do? Hello, Marcela from Chile, okay. Good, excellent. Lots of great ideas for picture number one. They ate good, Dasha, she had coffee. Very good, Dasha. That's a great example sentence for picture number two. She had coffee. Good, excellent. Okay, lots of great responses. Very nice, let's continue. Vamos a continuar. Okay, let me go to our last page here. Okay, so what about you? Share your experiences. Y bienvenidos a todos. Estamos estudiando gramática con Open English Mode. We are studying irregular verbs in the past simple tense. So what about you? Quiero aprender sobre de ustedes. In English, the verb to have, okay, to have, can be used to talk about eating and drinking. So for example, what did he have? For lunch yesterday, he had a sandwich and tea. This means significa he ate, comió, he ate a sandwich and he drank, bebió, tea. Okay, so we see the man here, he has a sandwich, he has tea. Yesterday, he had a sandwich and tea. What did you have for lunch yesterday? Send your comments and we choose comentarios. Try to use Verbs in the past simple tense. For example, I had, I ate, I drank. What did you have for lunch yesterday? Oh, good, I see lots of great comments. Welcome to more students. Okay, Frank says yesterday I had chicken for lunch, good. Patricia says last weekend to celebrate my anniversary. Congratulations, Patricia. You can say last weekend we celebrated my anniversary. Okay, hello Dario, thank you. Okay, so I see Frank has an example. I had chicken for lunch. Yubi says I had cake and wine yesterday. A very special lunch, Yubi, very nice. Okay, so let me type this here. I had chicken for lunch. Good, great examples, excellent participation. There are many great responses here. So thank you everyone. Felicitaciones por una gran clase. Espero que les haya gustado la clase de hoy. Los esperamos el próximo lunes para que aproveches 10 minutos más de inglés gratis con Open English. Y no lo olvides, 
Inscríbete a nuestro curso en OpenEnglish.com para que domines el inglés tan rápido como tú decidas. ¡Te esperamos!